Player begs Bethesda to end their immortality in Fallout 76. Fallout 76 player begs Bethesda for the sweet relief of death. A player's character just can die thanks to a bug. So, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76 News. And today, we have another situation related to bugs and exploits in Fallout 76. Now, thankfully, this hasn't been used in PvP. But we have a player who's reporting that they have God Mode for some reason and they haven't been able to actually remove it. So let's jump right in. Now this story is being reported on by several major outlets such as Polygon, VGR, and Rock Paper Shotgun. And we also have some other minor outlets who are reporting on this story in a less sensationalist manner. You know, these major outlets really like to, you know, provoke the public and uh, you know create interest and excitement with some clickbaity titles at the expense of accuracy of course so they tend to you know turn this into a narrative oh my god this player is immortal and what she wants to do is die i am immortal how about we take it down a notch and just read the post so this comes via reddit as always and we have one user called brogadin i'm probably butchering that name as always and uh she basically says that she's kind of frustrated because her character is unkillable like really unkillable like she can walk into a nuke blast and be fine that's basically her first line now, as far as I can tell from the comments, it doesn't seem like anyone else has this god mode. She is the only one. And uh, let's say that the memes are good. The memes are okay. You were the chosen one. That's an okay meme for this situation, I would say. You were supposed to bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. That's... It's an okay meme, alright? It's alright. I like the memes. In this case, I, I would rate it a 3 out of 5. You know, they're okay-ish, right? They need to step up their game with this situation, but whatever. But anyway, according to the original poster here, the character is unkillable. And even though the player does want her to die, it's pretty much impossible. And for some reason, they want the character to die. I guess it takes out the fun of the game because at the end of the day, the danger is part of the appeal, right? Even though there's really no cost to dying in the game, like you can die as much as you want. The only thing that you're gonna lose is your junk, so whatever. Your junk as in your trash, you know? Not in your junk, your actual junk. Let's move on. Now, according to this guy or gal, the bug just suddenly appeared out of nowhere, but they feel like they would be able to reproduce the state given the correct circumstances. So it seems like it's not a bug that happened from the beginning of the game. It's something that was triggered during gameplay and they feel like they could do it again. Um, they don't go into more detail as to how they did it. They also don't explain the circumstances surrounding the event that triggered this sort of like godlike mode. It would be awesome if they did kind of like a follow-up post and detailed the circumstances uh, that caused this bug to happen because at the end of the day, if you're trying to solve this as Bethesda, they're gonna need some sort of like way to replicate the event in order to fix it. And uh, they very much have to figure out how this happened because this is a game-breaking bug. This is like top priority type of bug. This can ruin someone's experience with the game to such a level that they probably won't even play the game ever again. Imagine you being completely untouchable, immortal in the game. Now, a lot of people are gonna say that would be awesome, but most of us want a true experience, an honest experience, and we want to beat the game the legit way and this would totally break the game. Imagine if you're level, I don't know, 30 and you've been playing for, I don't know, 40 hours or something like that. I think that's too much. Maybe 20 hours or something like that. And uh, you get this bug. It would basically force you to restart the game if you don't want this to happen, right? And um, there's a lot of people questioning the legitimacy of this post, but we do have a lot of screenshots that show that she is definitely immortal like there's a there's a screenshot of her right in the middle of a nuclear explosion this is impossible it's not as if she is in the blast radius after the explosion she is right in the middle of the explosion itself so um she is definitely telling the truth and we also see the hp bar is kind of like bugged 
Now, based on this information, my assumption is that this bug has something to do with radiation because you can see that the bar is completely red, which means that she probably went into a high radiation area without any sort of like hazmat suit or protection. And maybe she died from radiation poisoning, uh, which means that she got the rats to consume all her HP. And that's how she died. And somehow it bugged out. And now she has this bug where she is immortal. Now we do know that there are some bugs related to negative numbers in the game. So the way the game calculates certain stats do go into the negative sometimes so for instance the unlimited carry capacity bug has to do with negative numbers you basically wear something that reduces your carrying capacity until it gets to negative numbers and then it bugs out and lets you pretty much carry everything unlimited carry capacity so this could be somehow related to that same sort of like weird mathematical mishap that's going on inside the system so if somehow this radiation consumed all her HP and went into the negative numbers, maybe it could have triggered the unlimited HP. In the same way that if you go below zero in terms of carrying capacity, you get unlimited carry weight capacity. And if that is the case, then holy crap, my dudes, then this engine is truly lost. Because not only is the FOV tied to the um, UI not only is the speed tied to the frame rate, now we have this issue in the system where some values that should be only positive, sort of like health and carry weight capacity, can go into negative numbers and bug out and let you carry unlimited um, weight or have unlimited HP. I bet it has something to do with this and I bet we could do the same thing with um, action points. Just try to go, just try to starve to death. Just try to starve to death and um, don't drink anything. See if it happens because if it works with HP, it may work with action points as well. Basically any stat that should be only positive and has some sort of like decreasing effect like rats in HP or thirst and hunger in action points or pocketed uh, items in carry weight capacity. If there's a possibility that there's a number that is getting reduced, maybe there's a way to bug it out and get unlimited of that certain stat. However, this is all speculation, of course. Um, anyway, the player goes on to say that they placed a support ticket since Friday and no one from Bethesda has replied so far. Uh, apparently, they sent a standard email saying how your character status can become affected. So it's basically like those standard replies that you get from corporations. Like for instance, YouTube, when you tweet at them that your video didn't post correctly and that you're suffering because you worked on a video for eight hours and now it's not being distributed to your subscribers. You know what they say? They say, oh, the numbers may vary. This is normal. It doesn't matter that you're getting like 300% less views than normal because it happens, dude. It's like a standard reply and I'm sick of those replies. But anyway, I can't imagine what this player is going through because if they have been playing for more than 10 hours, this has to be so annoying because they're going to be forced to restart the game because this basically breaks the game and it's impossible. It's egregious that Bethesda hasn't replied to this because it's a game breaking bug. And the fact that they got a standard reply saying there are a few ways your character status can become affected. To check the status effects currently active on your character, open your Pip-Boy, navigate to stats and select effects. That is just lazy at this point. <laughs> So the player says this email continues with basic information that feels like a huge kick in the teeth at this point. There is a lot of things that are restricted to me right now, such as mutation farming because I cannot cure anything. I am considered at zero HP. I've had to limit myself to more boring activities because I do not want my exploration or the PvP aspect ruined by my god mode. So apparently they haven't used this on PvP, which is which is amazing. Um, that's a huge act of, I don't know, ethics, I guess, because like you could pretty much kill everyone on the server with this. Um, so the annoying thing is that at some point, they're just gonna have to not care if they cannot fix it because their character is currently near level 100, dude. 
that means they have been playing for at least 50 hours or something like that. So what the heck am I supposed to do besides actually starting to make all content in the game trivial? I'm really frustrated and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. It seems that they can't even slay my character for me. And uh, they go on to say that they are even unsure if whoever replied to them was even a person or maybe an automated answer. My guess is that it's an automated answer. And it gets even worse because it seems like my assumption was correct uh, because she now has some sort of like mutations that nerfed their ability to use guns. So if you somehow get exposed to a lot of radiation, the game has this system called mutations, which actually just nerfs some aspects of the game and makes it more difficult. Or it can also boost some other aspects of the game. So apparently she now has a lot of mutations that hinder their gunplay. And now they have to just go around melee smacking people because their rifles are somewhat nerfed. So that's kind of sucky as well. And they can't actually fix that because because they are considered to be at zero HP. This is truly a game breaking bug. Like this is crazy and it's amazing that Bethesda hasn't addressed this publicly because it's a it's it's egregious dude it's it's awful and uh it seems like this player is being honest they're saying that they're frustrated so i feel really bad for this player even though it seems like like from the outside it would seem like oh my god having god mode that would be the awesomest thing ever that would be so cool well no dude be careful what you wish for boy you might get it so anyway this is a sad story. The only good thing that we got from this um, is the memes. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, remember to leave a like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.